Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about number formats and custom number formats. All the number formats are in this section of the home ribbon. If I input a number here, like 0 0.5, you'll notice that that's of course stored as 0 0.5, but if I change the number format to get it to percentage style instead, by clicking this button right there, or by selecting the percentage there, then it will give me 50%. I can of course continue modifying this number format in any way I like. For example, decreasing the number of decimals is a popular thing, I think. You just have one decimal is enough. You can also add numbers like this. If I do on 25,500 like that, and if I put a few more numbers there, that gets increasingly hard to read. So I would strongly suggest using a comma style for that. And as you see there, it, it puts a comma between the thousand groups there. So that makes it much easier to read that I actually have 125 million here. And again, of course, I can combine that with removing the decimals, making it much more readable and understandable. Of course, if I make this into accounting formats, I can just select dollars like that, and then it gets the regional settings language or dollar format in this case. However, if I want to make my own formats, then I can go into this dialog right here, the number format. It's also down here. If I scroll down beneath the most common ones, I can go into more number formats. So let's see why I would like to do that. If I put 125 meters in here, it makes sense to me as a human, of course, but when I try to count that with that, and let's do 50 meters more, and now if I try to add these, the, the one to my left plus the one two steps to my left, you see that doesn't work at all. Of course you can do 125 and then put the meters in the next cell or something, but, but, but and then do 50 meters like that, that, and then I can of course sum these up to like that. That works just fine, but it's not as pretty as it. So, so let's go into looking at custom formats for putting everything in one cell instead so that we can get rid of this. Um, we do that, as I said, by going into this dialog here. Um, as you see, there are a bunch of predefined number formats here, but the real power comes in when you start doing your own custom formats. So I'm going to go into custom now. Um, there I can find one of the predefined ones, and as you see there are lots of examples here. But in this case I just want the number format to be the number, and then as you see here it's usually written like this. So I have the, the hash symbol, the comma, and the two hash symbols, and then a zero. And that format means that the, the zero is always written, even, even if it's actually zero. The hash symbol means that the number is displayed only if it actually has a value. But if I'm writing the number 1, I don't want it displayed as 01 or 001. In some cases I, I might want that, but and then I would make a uh, format with zeros instead of hash symbols. But in this case I just want the meters, so I'm going to use something like this one. I don't want any, any decimals, but then I just want to put a, a citation mark and then space and then meters like that, and there you see the sample format. Now of course I can copy that format and just paste it down there, and then I have the 50 meters, and then again I can copy that format. If I double click this copy format thing, I can um, just put there, and then, we, and then I can keep painting with that, so if I paint with that then I get 1 meter, as you see, as I didn't display any decimals with that, right? Now I can escape out of that by either pressing the escape key on the keyboard or unhooking, so to speak, that format painter. Another very useful way of using the custom number format is if I use the today formula to get today's date, like that, and I want to know what weekday that is, then I can format that cell to show the date in that format. So I'll go into number again, and as you see, there's a bunch of date formats here, and, um, and time formats also. But you can also build your own. So if I go into custom here, you see some examples of that somewhere here. The DDD month and so on. So that's the format it's using, the DDMMM. So this one, for example, gives me the D, the dates, and then the April um, 
abbreviation with three characters and then the year in number formats. So if I change that to YY instead, you see I get the 2015. So that's how the syntax works there. Now, if I only want the day, then I would actually write D, D for D and D, D. I'll write the third one there, I get, uh, or the SAT short version. If I get four Ds, then I get the whole. So that's the custom format for getting the weekday. Very useful, I think, in some cases. So that concludes my introduction to custom number formats. Thank you for watching.